Hello to SOTO ISD Algebra 1 scholars. I'm Ms. Smith, for those of you that don't know me, and this video is to inform you of everything you need to know about your Algebra 1 culminating performance assessment due at the end of the year. The performance assessment is the final project students are expected to complete and turn in to his or her teacher by May 18th. The performance assessment will receive a grade of a pass or an incomplete. Our goal is that all students receive a pass. Students may reference past videos or exercises for additional help as they go, or they may reach out to their Algebra 1 teacher for further direction, clarity, or feedback. Students with low technology or without technology are encouraged to pick up a packet from their school. They may contact their administrator on ways that they can submit or turn in their work, or they can have their parent email pictures, or they can submit pictures via Remind of their work done in these packets without technology. Assessments will be graded according to the grading rubric located at the bottom of your performance assessment document. Let's talk tech. Students may submit their performance assessment using Word document, PDF, or PowerPoint. If a student wishes to use a different platform or method to create their performance assessment, they may ask his or her teacher for prior approval. So if you want to get creative, just reach out to your teacher. Performance assessments can be submitted via email to his or her teacher, or students may submit their project on Schoology. Performance assessments should be emailed or submitted via Schoology by May 18th. So let's look through the questions. So the first question is just domain and range. We started domain and range back in the beginning of the year and we reviewed it and we'll continue to review it before this is due. Question two involves all the characteristics that we've seen of quadratic functions. You're gonna have an A, B, and a C, and these are all the things you're gonna have to find. We've worked on problems over the past couple of weeks that have, had, that have encouraged you to find this, these pieces, these characteristics of a quadratic function. We've also created videos located on our YouTube channel. So if you need that link, reach out to your teacher. Question number three, write a summary describing the relationship between the zeros of the quadratic function and linear factors of this expression. What? That means that I have no idea what you're talking about. That's okay. We're gonna make a secondary video. This is kind of the overview. We're gonna make a secondary video and kind of break down exactly what each question is expecting of you and ways that you can submit it to us. Okay, so if you, don't, if you can't quite figure out what this is asking, we've taught it to you, but we might not have worded it this way. So check out the video to come from your teacher. Then question four and five are both word problems. Woo, word problems, right? Okay, but you got this. You've been fully prepped in these past few weeks from your work on Khan Academy to be able to do these problems. And we're gonna use Desmos to help you make sure you get all your answers. Or if you have the TI Inspire software, that's accessible too. But we're gonna go through all these problems in the video to come from your teacher. Again, word problems, we know you don't like them, but they're so good for you and they teach you how the math really applies to the real world. So we're gonna break them down with you. All of these will be graded on a grading rubric from a zero to a four. Each question, each part of each question will land somewhere between zero to four. The rubric can be located at the bottom of your performance assessment, which will be emailed and located in Schoology, and we'll go over that soon. So a four is if a student demonstrates mathematical understandings and processes beyond the performance assessment expectations. A three, student demonstrates mathematical understandings and processes of performance assessment ex expectations. A two, student demonstrates mathematical understandings and processes of performance assessment expectations with minimal error. Three, student demonstrates limited mathematical understandings and processes of performance assessment expectation. And a zero is a student is unable to, to demonstrate mathematical understandings and processes of a PA expectation. We want everyone to get a pass, so we want you to stay in all of your problems, stay between a two and a four. We know you can get a four, so just reach out to your teacher. We're here to support you as you get this done. So let's look at how we submit this. You can submit this via email to your teacher. Nice and easy, send an email on over to your teacher. You can email it through Teams or you can email it just directly to them. Or those of you that know how to get into your online student backpack. And if you don't know how to get onto it, reach out to us, we'll let you know. Okay, you can also submit it through Schoology. So you're gonna log into your backpack and then you're gonna find the little Schoology button and open it up. You're gonna click courses, find your Algebra 1 class, and then here you can see the Algebra 1 culminating performance assessment and rubric. 
So this document is going to have your questions and your rubric, so your expectations. Okay, so it's going to have your questions broken down for you, the exact questions that are on your performance assessment. And then the bottom of it is going to be your rubric for each question, the expectations that you're expected to meet. Also, here in the upcoming tab, you're going to see the Algebra 1 Culminating Performance Assessment. You click that, and to submit your Word document, your PowerPoint, or your PDF, you click Submit. You're going to File. You're going to click File, and you're going to upload from there. So I hope this clears up any questions you may have on how to submit your performance assessment. But again, reach out to your teacher if you need anything or you have further questions. We will be putting out a video for you to be able to see how the breakdown or the expectations of each problem will look, as well as if, remember, if you don't have technology, you may submit these things, your project via the phone. You can contact your administrator for other ways to submit your assignment. So keep an eye out on your remind, make sure your parents are watching their email, that you log into Schoology next week. We will be releasing all this information to you guys to begin working on it around May 6th. So we are looking forward to you guys and your success on this project and the way you're gonna learn throughout this process. So we got this, we're in this together. Stay safe and keep learning.